Do you hate bounce? Probably not as much as I do. Well, I've been experimenting with bounce and rotary encoders. Here we have an array of five rotary encoders attached to an Arduino uh, Maker Zero, which can support 10 external interrupts. And now these rotary encoders, and I got them for cheap in AliExpress, but they have a very interesting, a very interesting uh, built-in debouncing circuit, which is extremely useful. You don't have to build your own circuit or even worse, do it in code. So here we have a little example. Here we have five rotary encoders, a very, very simple code, although complex in its generation. And we can see what happens. So what I've set this up is when you turn it without pressing down, no key, nothing happens. So if you don't press down on the key, these are keyed rotary encoders, which means there's a push button, which sets off a momentary contact. So if I press down and turn, you can see how I'm counting on the first one, or the second one, or the third one, or the fourth one, or the fifth one. Now, to make this work, you need two interrupts two interrupts per rotary encoder. And the third, the third wire is not an interrupt wire, it's just a, a digital input. So we have two rotary, five, two interrupts and five rotary encoders, that's 10. We get all, we get using up all 10 external interrupts here. And uh, an interesting thing about the Maker Zero is that pins 11 and 12 are used for I squared C and have built-in pull-ups which cannot be disabled. This is the same for all the Maker Wi-Fi, the Maker uh, Arduinos. So you cannot use those pins in this application. In fact, I don't know which pins, where you could use those pins because they're always pulled up. That's kind of a drag. But anyways, how does this code work? Uh, very, very simply, very simply, we instantiate it instantiate the encoders here. Then in the loop, we check for updates, providing it a, providing a, uh, a pointer to a vector of uh, values. Now check updates returns true. If something has been updated and it updates the vector of values, then we just show the vector of values. So most of the time, nothing's happening and nothing is being displayed. As you can see, nothing is displayed. However, if I should turn one of the encoders, or even several of the encoders, they, uh, it updates and then it displays, and then it stops. So this is a, a nice implementation of uh, how to get values out of a rotary encoder, and perhaps this could be of help to some of you, or all of you, or anyone. I'll put links to the code in the code in the description. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it.